We have been reading a lot of requests on the forums in connection to controlling servo drives with LabVIEW. The answer has always been the same. You need a PLC or two complicated and time-consuming. We must not have known this when we developed the Ethernet IP driver for LabVIEW. We will run through the easy steps to control the MDX61B drive with a LabVIEW program straight from a Windows PC. All you will need is a MDX61B servo controller, a laptop with Ethernet port, and a servo motor. Start by using the Motion Studio software to configure the drive. Create a new project. Then set up the communication port you'll be using to configure the drive. Once configured, scan the network for connected devices. I only have one device connected. To make it easy, I have a standard configuration that I use for the drives. Once this is transferred, I could make the adjustments I need. I use a custom IPOS program to control the device, but the standard from SCW will also work. Once you transfer the IPOS, make sure you start the program and that all required tasks are running. Now we will open the parameter tree to ensure the data source is set to unipolar and fixed value. Also change the Ethernet configuration to use the saved IP address. Open the configuration tool supplied with our driver and create a new configuration. Select the EDS file for the Ethernet IP interface card. Parameterize the IP address connection type O to T and the T to O time. The rest of the tabs in the tool displays all the values read from the EDS file. You should not need to change any of this. Time to save this file and connect it to the control block within your LabVIEW program. Now it is time to see it in action. We change the motor position by adjusting the slide and the speed by adjusting the dial. When we move the slider up and down you will notice how fast the drive responds and how dynamic you can control the motor. I hope that this helped people understand that LabVIEW can be a very powerful tool in conjunction with Ethernet IP. You do not need to use a programmable logic controller for these minuscule tasks. Control your servo drives and other devices with an Ethernet IP driver for LabVIEW. It saves costs and engineering time. Hope to see you next time, and thanks for watching.